I'm originally from Denver, Colorado. What you're going to witness today are our traditional dances of the Mexica people. They have been preserved and kept alive for hundreds and thousands of years. We really hope that you enjoy your time with us. Thank you. 
Everybody like that dance? Man, I don't really believe you. Did you like that dance? Hot out here, guys. You gotta give us a little bit of energy. The dance that you just saw. The dance you just saw, we call it Antigua. We do this dance in honor of our ancestors, the ancient ones. For without them, we would not have this tradition. We would not have these sacred ways. They would have been lost. But through them, we have persevered a so-called extinction. Our people are not dead. We are alive, living proof right in front of you. When you go into history class and they tell you that the Aztecs no longer exist, who are we? Human beings who have held on to their traditions, and we hold on to them to this very day for the future of our culture and people. We're gonna continue. Please enjoy yourself.
Chimali. Maybe my wife can show you this right here. Chimali. What is that? What does that look like? One of you guys know? What is, aha, I heard it. It's a shield. Our people believed in protecting our family. But not in a militaristic sense in which we understand protection today. Protect our families in order to preserve life. Preserving life means do everything possible not to take it. To take someone's life is a big responsibility. One that you don't want to have on your shoulders. My brother was sharing some information with me last night about the responsibility a person has should he take another's life back in our traditions. And how that person would have to care for the family, the children of that person. We don't do that today because we have lost our connection to that respect for life. That is going to be a key theme here in our tradition. The respect for life the respect for nature, the animals, the plants, it's all alive. And it's our duty to care for it. We want to see these children have a future. Throwing trash in the streets does not guarantee them a future. Using too much water using too much electricity, abusing food, does not guarantee them a future. We have a responsibility as the adults to provide these children with a future. What we do today affects them in the future. Thank you.
second. <laughs> Who thinks this dance looks really tiring? Do I think it looks that way? Yeah. It's not. <laughs> yes, it is. The dance that you just saw myself offer. We call it Sentli Maiz. The corn. Maybe you would think to yourselves, why dance for corn? Corn sustains the life of the people. When you can't go out and hunt a deer or rabbit or catch some fish, as long as you planted your corn and cared for it, you always have food. I always try to mention to people, the day in which we live today, we are disconnected with that respect for what is food. We go to the grocery store, we take out our wallets and we pay. We go to the restaurants, we order big plates of food and pay. And then sometimes we don't even eat that food. We throw it in the trash. There's people starving all over the world. My people, they believe in respecting food. And that means don't overeat. Plant the food. Care for it as it's coming up out of the ground because it's gonna feed you. Fill it full of love. Fill it full of beauty because it's gonna nourish your body. Not like today, we eat a lot of chemicals, processed foods. A lot of the times the people working in those places are angry. They're discontent or unhappy with their lives. And we're eating it. We're getting sick. Obesity, cancers, diabetes. We need to respect food. Right now what I'm gonna do though, I wanna introduce my family to you. The group in which was formed here in October of 2010, along with my wife, we are called Kalfuli Wewetlatoli. That is our union of families under the, the, the lineage of, or the word, the ancient word, the word that transcends all of time, that sparked creation. This is my wife, Ketziket Aramillo. Please give her a round of applause. Now my family here, we're very blessed to have them with us. They came all the way from Mexico, from a place called Tecama. El Estado de México, they're here sharing that root knowledge with us and ultimately with you because they're here today. They're coming under the name of La Danza Azteca de Tecamac. We have their first leader, our jefita, Guadalupe. Give her a round of Over 60 years old. Look at that. Over 60 years old. I never hear her complain about the heat. I never hear her complain that she can't continue, that she can't go on. My own son complains. And I tell him, look at this grandma. Look at her. She's not complaining. I want my son to be like that. 
strong. We need you guys to be strong. You're our future. The next second leader here is my brother, Anibal. Give him a round of applause. I've known Anibal for many, many years. When I was a kid, we started, I started dancing. He's the one that shared a lot of his time and his knowledge with me that brought me to this space where I am today. So I give him a lot of thanks. I want to introduce his wife right here. This is Guadalupe. Give her a round of applause as well. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we have up here and on our regalia. First, I want to mention that that burner in the middle. So what this is, we call it our popos komit. It's our incense burner. It holds our sacred fire. Fire is not to be feared. Fire is to be respected. With the lack of respect for fire, accidents happen. But as long as you respect it, as long as you respect fire, you can touch it with your hands and it will not burn you. Inside, we are burning what's called copal. It comes from the tree. It's a resin and it purifies and it takes all our good energy into the universe so it can multiply and spread amongst us all. Take a smell of that if you can. Breathe it in. It's good for you. Next, what we have up here, we have our grandpa. We call him the Wewit, the ancient one. The first instrument on the planet. Before synthesizers and you know, all the technology we use now to make instru instruments and music, that was the first. Also, we have our Ate Cocoli. He's going to blow this conch shell. <laughs> this conch shell, or what we call Ate Cocoli, was used to call out to the different spirits and energies in the universe to let them know we are here. We're going to do something sacred. Support us. Give us your strength and energy and knowledge. What you see on all of our heads today is are various types of feathers. We have macaw feathers. We have rooster feathers, there's pheasant feathers, eagle feathers. We put them on our heads because there's energy out in this universe, everywhere. And we want to pull it into our bodies and use it, utilize the universal energy that's out there in order to a complete things as which we're doing today for all of you. So we don't tire ourselves out. We don't use our own energy. Now the various regalia and outfits that you see have been made by hand. There's various types. There's embroidered types. There's painted types. There's beaded types. Leather. We work different materials in order for us to grow closer to this culture that is ours. To respect these things that we use. What you see on all of our feet, we call them coyolis or chachayotes or ayayotes. They come from a tree. They used to clean them out. They probably still do. They clean out the nut inside, smash it 
mix it with various herbs and oils and put it on their bodies, the older people, for their arthritis, rheumatoid. It helps soothe the pain. When we put it on our feet and we put little uh, BBs inside there. From what my brother shared with me a long time ago, there's supposed to be nine BBs in each shell. So there's 52 on each foot, which will complete a one full count of our calendrical system. Our calendrical system, the people throughout the Americas that use this calendrical system is more accurate than the one we use today. These things that you see, they're cosmic movements. They're used to calculate various movements of planets or of energies within our own nature. So we can connect and not feel alone, to not feel destructive or aggressive. I'm gonna continue right now. I really hope you guys are enjoying yourself still.
I'm gonna just tell you really quick what those two dances that you guys saw represent. The first one we call it in our language Masat or Venado, the deer dance. Once again, this is gonna go back to the same belief. Respect nature. Nature is what provides for us. When we go out into those woods, we have to hunt a deer. It feeds our family. We use the bone. We use the leather. It's medicine. In today's day and age, we don't think of food as medicine, it's just food. And I'm gonna tell you why it's medicine. When you eat it, if it's brought up well, like out in nature, it's healthy, 100%. You eat that and it's going to nourish your body. And as long as your body's healthy, you're going to maintain your health. If you're feeling ill and you eat certain foods, they can heal you along with water. In our way, they say water was the first medicine before everything. As long as you drink a good glass of water, cup of water, put some good energy in it, in the morning, it will keep you healthy. I know elders that lived into their 90s, into their hundreds, strong. Water, first thing in the morning. Water, every day, all day, water. We like to honor and respect those things that nourish us. The next dance that you saw we call it Tezcatlipoca. What is the name here? Cojito. Cojito. This dance has relations to the subconscious. Our people understood and studied that subconscious. Things that happen in your mind that you can't explain, fears, doubts, worries. Our people confronted them head on. They believed in living a fearless life. This energy is also related to the night time. It's related to a stone called obsidian, which we call the smoking mirror. This stone is black. But when you polish it, it's like a mirror. And they say, when you can fully look at yourself in one of those mirrors, you are 100% whole as a human being. It's also related to the mountains. Those unknown things where sometimes we go, I don't want to go over there. Maybe you have a doubt, a fear. They don't believe in that. They step in front of it, confront it, learn from it. It has something to teach you. We're going to close. I know we have questions that we have to answer. We're going to close the same way we open, saluting four directions, the smoke, the shell. And the ladies are gonna go back inside and me and my brother will answer your questions.